Hopefully, most of y'all had a good morning. I did not have a good morning. These darn insects in my house has kept me up all night. And I'm, I know most of you guys may think she has roaches. But it's not roaches. It's insects that I've invited into my home. And I thought, <laughs> I thought it'd be okay. So yesterday, I went with my husband. We went and got some crickets. And usually we get the medium crickets or the small crickets. So they don't really make too much noise. But the large crickets. The large crickets. They've been talking, chirping all night. They've been driving me crazy. And I've been up all night. Like I literally can't sleep. But my husband... This person, he sleeps like a baby. Like a champ. He gets his sleep. Like a polar bear. Gets up, plays the game, and it's okay. And me, I'm going freaking up. Going freaking nuts. Freaking bugs. In my house. Freaking spawns of Satan. Hold on, let me cut the light on so I can show you. So usually, <clears throat> when I feed her, we give her like 20 crickets, something like that. But yesterday we left the house to go and um, paint our in well, my in-law's house, his mom's house. And we left her without any food. So because she didn't have any food, I felt bad. So when I put the crickets in there, I put like 40 in there. And she's full. Look at her. Look at her. Fat, lazy, slouchy. I'm just playing, mama. But you're a predator, Sahara. You are the predator. You're supposed to get up and eat them. Look at her. She ate so many of them. She fat. And she hasn't pooped yet. So until she poops, she's not eating anything. Like, I know her. She's not eating anything. You're terrible. She's terrible. Eat them. They're taking over our home. And I know they, they driving her crazy, y'all. Because usually, she'll sit up there on her hammock. And bask in the light or she'll go inside because right now like you can't even see them because they're inside the freaking rock so she'll either go inside her basking rock or go in on top of the net and she's not even doing that because they get on her nerves she annoyed she pissed off <laughs> these bastards they huge too. I shouldn't. I would never do this again, y'all. I would never get the large crickets again. They are freaking terrible. You are roach than roaches. Like I'm scared of roaches, but right now I probably would prefer roaches. No, no, I don't prefer it. I don't know. I think that's a little bore. I don't prefer roaches. <laughs> but, okay, but anybody who owns a reptile or anything that eats crickets or live bugs, 
or whatever could you please tell me how do you stop them from chirping like how do you quiet them down at night like especially at night because they're loud like i don't know if anybody has ever dealt with them but they're freaking loud they really loud and they trick me see and then then that they, they tricky because when we went to the pet store they wasn't loud like this on the way home you heard a chirp or two but they wasn't really loud they wait till you they get comfortable and then they get the they get the talking i don't know maybe i'm a cricket because i'm the same way <laughs> around new people i'm quiet and then after a while i get loud they be like Ooh, where they come from i don't know am i a piss like that do i act like that Somebody please tell me what y'all do to stop y'all crickets from talking. They taking over my home. I can't sleep or anything. So hard get up and eat them. But yeah, I probably um soak her in a nice bath, a warm bath, and give her some exercise so she can poop. Cause after she poops, she's gonna eat. But let's take a moment to listen to the beautiful noises that I have to sleep with. Imagine having to listen to that all night. Imagine having to listen to that crap all god dang on night. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Hey, Daya. <laughs>